Hi guys, in this video, we'll be moving files from uh, EC2 Windows instance to our S3 bucket. So in my last video, I did it for a Linux uh, EC2 instance. So let's do it for Windows as well. So we have an S3 and a file, a folder ready. Uh, I have RDP into the instance. So now let's head over to the, okay, first we'll create a text that is a test file. So I've already created a folder. Let's create a text document that is the first one let's go so this is the document we'll go to cmd and run the command aws s3 ls so with this command we can list all the s3 buckets which are in the aws console okay so now this isn't working as aws cli isn't installed so we'll install that first so i've already have uh, the link for it we'll copy it and paste it in the right so let's go here we are, head over to Windows, and here it is. So we can also use the commands, but this is most more easier. We'll open this, next, agree the license, next, next, install, that's it. We'll wait for a while. Okay, so it took a while, so I pause the video. So it will, it's done, we'll finish it, close the browser, it's not required. Close the CMD and relaunch it again. We are in CMD. Now let's do AWS S3 LS. And here we are. We should be able to see the S3 bucket. Here it is. Okay. So now we will do AWS S3 CP. With this, we can copy the file, which is this one in this folder. Let's copy this and paste it. So we'll put the file name as well okay so we don't need to put the file name we will do copy this entire folder and uh, now we will put the URI by entire folder I meant that all the files inside this folder should be moved to the s3 bucket hit enter okay it is failing we will uh, add request okay we will add a recursive in the end let's do it and it's done let's go to s3 and check it quickly we'll do refresh and the file is here okay so now we will delete it because we need to automate this process so let's see how we can automatically move this suppose if we want to move it over a period of time or weekly monthly how we can do that automatically because aws is all about automation so let's minimize this and cut it. okay so for automatically doing it we will open notepad as we have to create a bat okay. file for it so now we'll go to the command line again and uh, copy the command here is the command copy it and we'll paste it in okay and while saving it make sure you save as this pc c drive wherever you want do this all files and give it a name it can be let's I'll give my name and then make sure you enter dot bat at the end and save it let's save now uh, let's go to task scheduler and uh, schedule this task we are in task scheduler we'll create a basic task task name will be s3 something next we want to do happen at daily daily when it's 3.40 now. We'll do it at 4 every day. Okay. So it will be 4 p.m. every day. Next action will be start program. Next and browse here. And we'll select our script. Open. That's it. It's uh, such a simple thing. And finish. So now you can see that S3. This uh, task is created. It will be uh, running at 4 p.m. So we won't be waiting that much. We'll run it right away and let's see if it is working or not. If you can see in our bucket, the folder, we don't have anything here. And in files, there is one document. Let's test it via task scheduler. And here we go and run. Okay. So now let's check it in the S3 bucket. It's here. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.